Hi, and welcome to the channel. This is Why Technology Fails. I'm Tom Hames, uh, your resident technologist. Uh, you'll learn a lot more about me, I'm sure, as we go through this process, as we begin to unfold the story of our relationship with technology. I have been uh, messing with technology. Well, most of us have been messing with technology since we were small children. But what we uh, currently think of as digital technology, that started about in the early 1980s. And uh, actually, some of the photos in the introduction are from that time period. And we're going to talk about those as well. So uh, what this channel is about is understanding uh, how we as humans have evolved with our technology and in a period of very rapid change in technology. And when I say period, I'm talking about something in the neighborhood of 100 years now or more. Uh, technology has changed uh, a lot of things about our environment and how we relate to it. Um, we're going to examine that. And I think one of the things that is kind of going to be a persistent theme here is how we have become disconnected with thinking critically about what technologies to apply and what technologies not to apply. Uh, that uh, is uh, a complicated question. It's different for every person. But what I'm hoping to give you in this channel is a set of principles that you can apply and think about as you're considering how to use and what technologies to use uh, for uh, getting your work done or building art or whatever you want to use technology for, making you smile. So, um, you know, our relationship with technology goes back thousands or hundreds of thousands of years. You know, humans evolved uh, the ability to create tools fairly early uh, in our existence. And this is what made us different from uh, many of our competitors in the, uh, in, the, in the natural world, our ability to make tools and to organize with, uh, with each other. Uh, and organization is also a technology. It's a tool. Uh, and I think a lot of times we don't think about technology broadly enough um, to think about how those ideas come from uh, morph into a uh, uh, bureaucracies and other sorts of human organizations that affect our uh, ability to effectively think about technology and to apply it. The first thing we're going to do in the channel first things we're going to do in the channel is to break down a set of very human goals, things that we want to be able to do uh, as modern humans, things that uh, give us joy, that produce productivity, um, that make us better at uh, being humans than if we were dropped naked into the desert somewhere. Um, at the same time, we're also going to look at a set of failings in terms of the way our relationships of with technology have grown over the years and think about how those failings hold us back. Uh, one of my big uh, themes in, in my new book, Discovering Digital Humanity, is the fact that our relationship with technology has failed in some cases to make us better. I mean, in many ways it has, and that's the thing is we need to recognize those successes, but we also need to recognize how we deliberately design technologies to, that uh, fail to make us better. And, and we don't do that, when I say deliberately, I mean we're designing for other purposes, but the outcome is, is, is a negative one for those people using the technology. Finally, in this introductory period, we're going to look at uh, something, a concept that was actually originally thrown up, uh, well, at least 60 years ago uh, this year uh, by a thinker named Douglas Engelbart uh, called Augmenting Human Intellect, which in my mind is the highest goal that any technology should do. It should make us smarter. It should make us uh, uh, be able to do things that we weren't able to do before. I mean, right now I feel pretty dumb in the video field as I am struggling my way through all of the different moving pictures, uh, of moving the way of constructing moving pictures. I've been a photographer for quite some time, and uh, that's one of my images behind me there. Um, and, you know, I've spent a lot of time thinking about still images, and I've kind of always avoided the technology of moving images because it changes the dynamics of what we're saying and doing and how the narrative, the stories that we're telling has changed. 
So some of this is going to be you watching me struggle through some of this technology. This first video is probably going to be a lot rougher than my 50th video uh, as I begin to develop a, a more effective workflow. And uh, I hope you'll bear with me on that and uh, not let the presentation necessarily get in the way of the content. So we're going to try a bunch of different things. We're going to do some stuff on screens with animations and so on as I learn my way through those technologies. Um, but, uh, you know, this is a good illustration. The, the, there's a meta story here in this video and that, you know, my struggles with trying to figure out how to do this right uh, and uh, to do this within uh, the constraints of my time and budget uh, is going to also illustrate, you know, my goal is to communicate this story to you. My goal is to, as I as we'll talk about in a few weeks when we talk about the first of many uh, uh, goals what we have for technology, is to exchange knowledge, maybe exchange a little bit of joy, which is another one. Uh, and uh, so uh, how I get there in terms of my ability to create, my ability to, uh, to create this story as effectively as possible, is uh, going to uh, be part of the story itself. And perhaps we will reflect backwards on this journey that we're about to take together. So welcome to the channel.